If you can choose an anime to live in, what would it be? My Hero Academia. Oh my god! That's so crazy you said that because that was like, you're like the fourth or fifth person to say that today. I mean, being in a world where like basically everyone has superpowers, that's like, that's like a, well, unless you're Deku, but like he, he got powers eventually. Mm -hmm. And like, just like being able to like have a chance of being a superhero too, that would be like so great. Just like being able to like have some amazing quirk. Like I, I would, like, I would just love to do that because I'm big on superheroes. Like I am an avid Marvel fan. Like mm. I've seen basically all of the Marvel movies mm. except for Deadpool and Wolverine. But like I, I, I avidly followed like the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Like favorite, favorite superhero has to be Spider-Man. Like there's not like I've seen every Spider-Man movie, even the Andrew Garfield ones. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't even know about those. But look, look, look. But my boyfriend, be the director be, behind the camera, he is giving him his his. I actually saw all those movies. Props. No, that's that's valid. Now you make me want to check out those movies. What the fuck? What am I missing out on? Goddamn, Daddy. Is good. Well, it, well, what I recommend is. You like minority superheroes, right? Mm -hmm. Watch Into the Spider Verse and Across the Spider Verse. I, I watch those. I watch those right now. You like those? Yeah. I love fucking, those too. I fucking love them. What? Like, listen, nah. The last one, Across the Spider Verse, was like the that, that shit. That shit surpassed the first one. That shit surpassed the first installment. Like, I don't care what nobody says, and I know for a fact the whole fucking world and society agrees with that fucking answer. Like, right? Come on. Like animations, animation story, yeah. different villain, yeah. not rehashing the same thing. Like expanding inside, expanding like in the world of like Spider-Man instead of just it being Miles and Peter. Mm -hmm. Like how you just see basically see a whole world of the Spider people mm -hmm. in like different dimensions too. Like Hobby Brown, uh, Spider Girl, mm -hmm. all these superheroes, and like a Spider-Man villain too. Mm -hmm. And like the next movie beyond the, beyond the Spider Verse, it's just gonna be better. I can just tell. And that and that soundtrack, I still play it on my phone when I go to the gym. That's like, lit. That's lit. No, the soundtrack is great. Yeah. Like Metro Boomin, he he snapped on that. He did. He definitely did. No, he really did. Like some of the songs that that was on replay for me, and still even to this day is um, I love Hummingbird. I love the one with Offset. The song with Offset and I think Nav. Nav is on it too, and um, and of course you can't forget about Sway Lee. <laughs> I will say my favorite Spider Verse song has to be Sunflower. Sunflower is, the one, is it? The one, the one close Malone and Twaley. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, no, no. That that song definitely blow the fuck up. Like, no, it's valid. I love I love that song. Like, and that that's also another song that definitely made Swaley mad. Like, even more famous. Him and Post Malone, but mainly Swaley because he really got the vocals like on lock. Right. Like. For, right. For sure. And I feel like that's exactly what sold the song. Like, it's so. The replay repeat value is so like golden and worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Like I can, you can definitely tell how working in like movies or just how work making music in movies can like basically build someone's career. Like Metro Boomin, he was already famous and he, I, and but like the Spider Verse movies just like increased to his popularity and fame. And I think Heroes and Villains was robbed for a Grammy, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know how that Drake album won it, but whatever. Yeah, 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 fuck that. We ain't gonna talk about that shit. <laughs>